Roads are a critical part of British Columbia's transportation infrastructure, underpinning a strong and vibrant provincial economy. BC has over 700,000 kilometers of roads, most of which are unpaved industrial roads. While roads provide many benefits to people, they affect wildlife by altering natural habitats and causing direct mortality. Small, slow-moving animals have little chance of avoiding vehicles on a busy road. Did you know that amphibians and reptiles are some of the most threatened species in British Columbia? Their extensive migrations between important breeding and overwintering habitats make them especially vulnerable to road mortality. In recent decades, researchers have begun studying the impacts of roads on wildlife and how to mitigate the effects. This has led to a variety of changes in road maintenance and construction activities near wildlife habitat. For example, some agencies across North America have started using alternatives to harmful road salts in their winter maintenance activities. And in some locations, underpasses or overpasses have been installed for safe wildlife passage, including for amphibians and reptiles. A number of projects have taken place right here in BC. Along Highway 4 near Tofino, where hundreds of red-legged frogs were being killed during migrations to and from breeding sites, guiding fences and underpasses have been installed. Underpasses have also been installed under highways in the interior to allow threatened snakes to move between important habitats. Despite these efforts, many people still aren't aware of the impacts of roads on amphibians and reptiles, or what can be done to reduce those impacts. That's why, in 2020, the provincial government developed Guidelines for Amphibian and Reptile Conservation during Road Building and Management Activities in British Columbia. These guidelines do not create new legal requirements or supersede any statute. They are intended to support existing legislation and regulatory requirements and increase awareness. Based on the best available science from across North America and elsewhere, these guidelines are meant to help qualified professionals provide advice to those who build and maintain roads and help civil servants who review development applications. Academics interested in assessing and improving mitigation measures will find valuable information about crossing structure designs being tried and tested across the province. These guidelines are meant to be used when planning new road construction projects, embarking on annual maintenance activities, everything from mowing roadside vegetation to maintaining drainage, and designing crossing structures when retrofitting existing roads. There are seven main sections, links to important resources, and appendices summarizing road research in BC and elsewhere. An example of an important and useful resource is a screening tool to assess the level of risk of a project for amphibians and reptiles that is used before a project even begins. This is critical for deciding the appropriate location of new roads and is the most cost-effective way to avoid impacts. Another section focuses on study design when monitoring the effectiveness of mitigation structures. If you are a qualified professional, civil servant, or academic involved in road work, download your copy of the guidelines today and become an active and informed participant in helping to conserve amphibians and reptiles in British Columbia.